Hi guys, how are you? I have had many students struggling with um, stats too, and this my, you know, I'm not gonna say the name of the software, but it is a pain in the neck. So I'm gonna show you how to create an ANOVA table in literally seconds. So you will have the treatments, treatment ones, two, and three. Now you can do this in Excel, but let's say that you really don't like Excel that much. And I'm gonna show you how to do in the TI-84. So you have to go to stats. Then we're gonna go ahead and create three lists. If you have like things like me, just clear, enter, and that's gonna clean the list. Again, you go clear, enter, and then again, clear, enter. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the data. So 3.6, 1.1, 4.7, 5.2, Okay, let's do L2, 5.4, 2.6, 4.5, And the last one, which is gonna be 1.8, 0.7, 1.7, and we're almost done. Now that you have your list, you're gonna click on stats, and then you're gonna go all the way to test. And then we're gonna look for the ANOVA test. And I'm almost there, and bingo. Click enter, and remember, we have treatment one, two, and three, so I'm gonna go ahead and call list one, comma, list two, comma, list three. I do it like this, second, list one, comma, and again, second, list two, comma, second, list three, and then I click on the parenthesis and enter. Voila, Give, it gives you every single thing that you need to put for your ANOVA table. And basically, this is how you do it. Then here, if you go all the way down, it even gives you your F statistics, and let me see, and your p-value right here. So here you can determine if you should reject or fail to reject. So I hope this video helps you out. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.